Welcome to your basic life support and automated external defibrillation training. The scenario I'm going to give you today is that you're going to meet Mary Jones. She's a 47 year old lady who's been brought into the accident and emergency department. She's lethargic, feeling unwell but has had no previous medical history and she's presented to the accident and emergency department with a 14 hour history of abdominal pain. Hi Mary, my name's Heather, I believe you're not feeling too good. Can you tell me what's the matter? I've just got this really bad tummy ache. Okay, if it's a, a pain score of between 1 and 10, what sort of level are you at? Probably about an 8. An 8. Alright, I'm just going to go and get a nurse who can come and get you admitted. Alright, bear with me. Okay. Tony, can you come and have a look at Mary? I'm a bit worried about her. Okay. Hello Mary, my name's Tony. I'm one of the staff nurses on duty today. How are you feeling? I know Heather's just had a chat with you. I've just got this pain in my tummy. Okay, whereabouts in your tummy is it? Right in the middle. Okay. Well, Heather, her airway's clear, so I'm happy with that. Okay. So what I want to do is just do a few more formal investigations on you to find out exactly what it is that's causing this problem, and okay. we'll get the doctors to come and review you. Okay, right. what I want to do is just check your breathing initially. So, Heather, could you get me a stethoscope so I could listen to Mary's yes, chest? Certainly. And in the interim period, I'm just going to expose you slightly there and check your respiratory rate. Could you get the saturation probe for me and put certainly. the sats probe on? Thank you. Um, Okay, your breathing is a little bit fast there, Mary, and I've noticed that your oxygen levels in your blood are a little bit low. So I'm going to ask Heather if she can put a high flow oxygen mask onto you at this time. Okay? Okay. Could you send me high flow oxygen 15 litres, please? Can I just actually just lift your chin up for me slightly there? Just checking whether your trachea is central, which it is. I've noticed that you've got air entry on both sides and I'm just going to have a quick listen to your chest. Could you also pop on the BP and DCG for me please? I'm just going to have a nice face there, Mary. What's your beauty? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice, I can tell. Right, you really, really well. Then just a little bit lower now, I'm afraid. A little bit cold. Sorry about that. I'm just going to go across your chest there, sorry about that. Oh. It is cold, I did warn you. Okay. <coughs> the chest is reasonably clear, our actual air entry. Pulse is really fast, Tom, it's about 120 a minute. Right, okay. Yeah, and the blood pressure is 80. So over 40. Can you call one of the doctors for me, please? I want to have an urgent review on this yeah. lady. Okay. okay, Mary, your blood pressure is really, really low and your heart rate has increased. So I'm going to get one of the doctors to come along and pop a little ventil into your arm. We will need to take some blood. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, no, it's not great, but it's really important that you bear with us. We'll probably also as well need to get the doctor to prescribe you some fluid because it looks like you probably benefit from some. Okay. Bear with me, you're doing really well. Tony, I've just spoken to the doctor, it's going to be about 10 minutes, he said carry on your assessment. Um, the ECG machine's next door with Doris, so do you want me to attach onto a monitor we've got? Can we put on the ECG, yes, yeah, just so we can have a look at something. Whilst Heather's popping on the onto an ECG, Mary, I'm just going to pop a little bit of pressure into the centre of your chest, it's called the capillary refill time. Mary, I'm just going to attach these leaves to you. I'm sorry about that, three, four, five, one, two... Three. It's coming back at four seconds, so she is. We are actually identifying for some reason that your blood pressure does seem to be very low, and your body obviously is trying to compensate for that. Also, as well, we've noticed that your your blood capillary is quite low as well. So therefore, we need to get some fluid urgently, which I'll request from the doctor. Can you expand um, it there? Sorry. Um, yeah. That's on now. I'm sorry about that. We've got you all covered up. All right. Are you warm enough? Could you? 
You feel really dizzy and lightheaded. Bear with me. The doctor is on his way, Mary. Try not to panic. Okay. Mary, until the doctor turns up, I need to shine a bright light into both of your eyes just to see what your eyes are doing. And can I ask you to get me a bedside blood glucose for me, yep. please? I'm sorry about that. Hand down on this eye. Well done. Okay, and in from the side. Sorry, and down from the top. I'm sorry. Pupils are equal and reactive. Could you just jot these obs down for me as well while she's doing them, Heather, as well? Yes. Her rate's gone up to 124, and her rest rate's around 14. Heart rate's 126. SPO2 is 96% on high flow oxygen, which is great. But obviously the BP is still lower, 80 over 40. We just need to get the doctor to do um, an urgent eye. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, it's not great that, it's just a little scratch. That's just to check your blood sugar, Mary, that. BM is 5.1. BM is 5.1, which means your blood sugar is of a normal level. What I'm going to do now, I know I've had a look at your chest. What I do want to do is just have a quick look under your sheet, at your tummy, okay, and then we can find out exactly what's going on with the rest of your body. All right. Okay, your arms look okay. I'm just going to have a quick look at your tummy. Just bear with me. Heather, could you just help me just assess this patient? I'm just going to pull the sheets up. I'm just going to have a quick feel of your tummy, okay? Is that really sore there? And there. Okay, and just a little bit further. I'm sorry about that. I know, I'm sorry. Gentle deep palpation, she is rigid, she's guarded, and her abdomen is tender. Okay. Let's have a quick look between your legs now. Indicative that you might have some blood between them. It's a nasty smell, that. There's a lot of melina in the bed. Heather, could you get me some dressing pads for down below? Yeah. I'm going to get Heather to just put some dressing pads there. You are bleeding quite significantly. Have you, have you bled like that before, Mary? You've never bred like that before. Okay, I'm gonna, can you also as well request an urgent call from that doctor now? I need him here, stat. Okay. I'm just gonna quickly check your legs there, Mary, and also your ankle. Any pain in your car? Mary. Heather. I've got you some tissues. Just hang on a second. Mary, are you all right? Are you all right? She's not responding, don't go anywhere. Okay. Her airway's clear. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She's not breathing and she's got no pulse. Okay. Okay, could you put me out a double two, double two? Yeah. For me. States adult cardiac arrest in our location and bring me back the resource trolley. Hey, adult cardiac arrest. Ward three. Do you pull the emergency buzzer as well for me to get some more help in here? you link me up as well to the AED? No, I'm not quite sure what you mean by that. Do you want me to take over CPR? Please, that'd be great. Sorry, I didn't realise you was new here. Yeah, I apologise. Right. It's my first week. Okay, it can be a bit daunting. Okay, three, two, one, take over chest compressions for me. Around you, continue with CPR. Connect electrode. 
stand clear. Perhaps you just stop CPR for a second, you stand clear from the patient. Analyzing now. Stand clear. Okay. No shock advised. Not advised a shock. Should I have a quick pulse? Check for pulse. Is there a pulse? There is no pulse with that headache. Can you continue with basic life support? Start CPR. Okay. Heather, I can't give IV drugs because I'm not trained to do that. I've not done my IV qualification. So when the doctor comes, we'll get him to put a straight away. Do you want to hold that mask in place? Yeah, I can do. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. What I'll do is, uh, we can get some adrenaline ready. This is what we call a PEA, cardiac arrest. So it's pulses electrical activity. We'd normally give adrenaline, but I can't give that. We've got the drugs out ready, and when the doctor arrives, we can get him to take over. We're just coming up to two minutes now, Heather, in this little. Stand clear. Okay, can you just stand clear for a second? Analyzing now. Stand clear. Start CPR. Okay, start CPR for me again. Okay, he's doing a countdown of 15 seconds, which means it must have been a shockable rhythm, so continue with good aggressive CPR. It's a crash team has been alerted, haven't they? Yeah, it's Shock advised. Three, two, one. Off the chest clear. for me. Shocking now, button. everyone clear. Shock delivered. Continue with chest compression. Start CPR. Hi, yeah, doctor. Cardiac arrest, originally PEA, she's gone into VF. Yeah. Uh, or certainly a shockable rhythm on screen. We've got a ventral in, but I can't give IV drugs. Okay. Um, but obviously it's now become shockable. Mm -hmm. We just need to start managing the cardiac arrest a bit more aggressively. Okay. Um, she's bleeding significantly in the bed, so I'm thinking maybe she would benefit from some intravenous fluids. Okay, we can get that sorted. Lovely.